All right, everyone. So the next step is to basically fill in each of these shapes with different patterns, different designs, different drawings, uh, really whatever you want. And then the idea is to repeat them all the way around to create your mandala. So what I like to do is focus on one slice. So pick any of your slices. It doesn't matter since they're all the same. And what I'm going to do then is, let's zoom in a little bit, there we go, is I'm going to then kind of use each of these, like imagine this being a shape right here, this is its shape right here, this is a shape. And I'm, what I'm going to do is fill in these shapes with designs, patterns, shapes, triangles, circles. Um, so let's, for example, let's kind of start at this one right here. Maybe what I'll do is find the center of this shape. And what I'll do is go corner to corner and just draw a simple triangle like this. Looks pretty cool. Um, maybe for this big shape right here, I could do something similar but a little bit different. So what I'll do is kind of go from corner to corner, kind of put a dot where I think the center is, and maybe I'll draw kind of like a like a curved like a triangle, curved triangle shape, excuse me, or a leaf shape, kind of something like that. Um, you know, maybe in this open space, in this open space, I can draw a little circle. Um, you know, something like this wide open space right here, this kind of really shallow space, I could do um, maybe all like lots of little triangles. I could do uh, dashed lines. I could, I mean, really doesn't matter. Now, before I go any further, this is all fine and dandy, but these are pretty plain right now. So, you know, I could draw a, another triangle inside of this one. You know, I could make this leaf shape look more like a leaf. And you're not limited to, you know, random shapes and patterns. You could do symbols and designs from movies, uh, video games. Um, you could make like, you know, maybe this, uh, this little piece right here in the center, this kind of looks like a pizza. Maybe I want to draw up little pepperonis on this one and make each of these its own like pizza or a piece of cheese or something like that. Um, you know, I could draw flames, slime, ice, fire, Mickey Mouse ears, um, Fortnite symbols, things like that. So the idea is that once you have, here, let's do something kind of cool in this piece up here. Let's make, what I'm going to do is um, split this piece up into couple different sections right there and what I'm going to do is draw try to draw three triangles like that that could be kind of cool and I can do something cool with that later on so the idea now is to simply recreate these shapes in each slice so for instance what I'll do for this first triangle is just do the same thing in this slice you know, put my pepperonis for my pizza slices here, create my leaf shape. So now it's just a matter of repetition. How do I repeat what I drew? Let's see, I kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll make sure I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's basically the whole process. So as I work my way around, you'll notice my mandala will start to kind of fill itself out. And it can start to look really cool. And to get even more advanced, you can, you know, add color and shading. Like, um, and every piece does not have to be exactly the same. Like for these middle pieces here, I could do something like maybe I shade in the pepperonis on this piece. And maybe on this piece, I shade in the space behind it. So you can do like kind of every other pattern. You could do opposites or you could make them exactly the same. It's totally your call. But there's a lot you can do with these. Like maybe I could do some really cool um, shading in these with my pencil. Um, you know, I can also alter and edit these circles. I can erase 
the space around the triangle so it's kind of pointy more like a sun or a flower so there's really unlimited things you guys can do with this so take a look at the steps up on the board if you need to uh, take a look at the examples I have posted on the board as well um, and this is something that should take us uh, you know at least two to three class periods to first of all set up our paper draw everything and then add color or shading with your pencil whichever one you seem fit whichever uh, one you think you want to do and these will look really cool by the end and we're gonna work on them um, today which is Thursday Friday and we'll hopefully finish these up on Tuesday and I will be back on uh, Wednesday to kind of take a look at the progress that we've made uh, but please feel free to use colored pencils uh, feel free to use um, number two pencils for shading um, you know you can make these filled with color you can make them black and white um, really any any kind of thing that you want to do for your uh, mandala so um, please watch these videos again if you need to and if you need another piece of paper to kind of try again please feel free to um, you don't have to copy my design exactly as you see it but you can take inspiration from it um, and I'm really excited to kind of see what you guys do so good luck have fun and uh, make some really beautiful mandalas